Hey, what is up investors? Jason here. So we're going to be doing a quick tech analysis and a price prediction of Cardano, as well as talk a bit about what currently is going on with the Vassal hard fork. So give a good news update uh, of some information there. Now, looking here on the chart, looking at the technicals from yesterday, things are going just right to plan as we have broken through that Fibonacci level and we're working our way up back to that 50% Fibonacci level. And that represents this run that we had seen that had started in around June, uh, mid-June, I should say, on into now. So we're gonna be uh, covering this. So as we do, if you don't mind, please quick, do me a huge favor. And that is you smash, destroy, annihilate, or just gently press that like button. It helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. It helps spread this content to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe and push that bell notification if you have not already. Now let's get to this. Now on this particular day, according to CoinMarketCap, Cardano is having a pretty good day. It's up more than five and a half percent in the last 24 hours. And in the last seven days, it's up nearly eight and a half percent. And it's it's up more so in comparison to uh, looking at what the other top cryptocurrencies are doing, where Bitcoin and Ethereum are in the red at this moment. In the last 24 hours, Cardano is pumping. So it's really doing a lot for the altcoins right now at this moment. And some of the other altcoins are actually also on the move as well. So just to follow up on some news that has been going on, September has been a really good month for Cardano so far, and we've only just started the month. Uh, they started September 1st with being listed on Robinhood, which is huge because Robinhood's been making a lot of changes as far as how they handle cryptocurrencies, and this is a great place for Cardano to be. And many people have been asking about this for years. So now this is finally this is finally available. So ADA is finally av available to buy on Robinhood. And as far as how things are going with the Vassal hard fork, a lot of developments, uh, the node version 1.35.3 has been working successful. 87% of the SPOs have updated this. Things have been going uh, going well. So that metric is complete. And as far as the other big metrics, the the exchange is updating here. Uh, we have Binance that is nearly there. And then we have a handful of other exchanges that are in progress or that are already ready. So hopefully we'll see Coinbase there soon as well after Binance and, and things can really start rolling here. And then a handful of the other smaller exchanges, they're also making some progress with updating here as well. But just really the big majority of the larger exchanges really do need update and that will trigger uh, th that metric of being complete and get us more closer to being uh, for, the, for the hard fork to be complete on the mainnet. Now, also looking over at what we have with the um, with the dApps, we have a handful of the larger dApps on the Cardano network that are currently complete with their testing or that are currently in testing. So things are also going well with that. And speaking of that, uh, looking over at the total value lock, there has recently just been an increase in the amount of total value locked on Cardano. So uh, there's a nice little bump there if you can see it. So that's nice to see that that is currently also going on. So all big things really to be excited about. So looking here on the four hour chart, things are looking really nice. Seeing the price of ADO the, pumping through that Fibonacci level, working its way up to that 50 cent price. Uh, this is right where we want to be. Everything here is on track. If we continue to see this momentum to uh, at least possibly getting to our neutral price prediction. And that's where things are looking at right now. And this new neutral price prediction is to see the price of ADA between the price of 50 cents and 58 cents by the end of September or the beginning of October. That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna have the Basel Hard Fork coming out here very soon within these next couple weeks. Hopefully cross our fingers that this is the case. Now looking at ADA here on the daily chart, what's going to be very interesting to look at is when we look at what ADA is doing in comparison to what Bitcoin is doing. So uh, this is the surprising thing that we were following along with Bitcoin so tightly that things are looking identical, but now we are starting to see that change. There's a transition going on here with, with Cardano and Bitcoin, and that is that Bitcoin now looks different. We're not seeing these pumps with Bitcoin like we are seeing with Cardano. And if we were to take this over to the ADA Bitcoin chart, look at this. 
we are seeing that different when we really look at it like this we are seeing what is going on with cardano it is not following along with bitcoin right now i mean there's still that definitely that bitcoin influence but the the price movements with cardano right now are different than the price movements with bitcoin and this is something that we really needed to see to really see that bullish momentum where cardano stops trading in tandem so much with bitcoin and then starts to do its own thing now given that this is going on there might be a bit of extra volatility that could follow so i uh, do keep that in mind that things from here uh could be a bit interesting as far as the price movements uh, with with cardano so that's what's currently going on we're currently pumping to that 50 percent level and if everything continues to go then we will start our first wave within the next five wave structure and hopefully we'll continue to see bullish momentum with cardano now i'm going to keep you guys updated every single day with what is going on with cardano as well as many other cryptocurrencies as well now do keep in mind i have said this before many times over this last couple weeks i do have a kid that is going to be born at any time my wife is full term and that's going to be the only thing that is going to make me take a break from making these crypto videos so if you see me not uploading one day that is why but anyways please like share comment subscribe new content coming out all the time thank you guys for watching and listening i will see you all in the next one coming very soon